Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Now, this is a response uh, to one of our questions. Uh, basically, on one of our Q&A, can Canelo Alvarez become undisputed in 2019? And let's just break down his chances and opportunities and who he may fight in that bracket. And this is just pure boxing talk. So let's just break it down. The first opponent, obviously, Canelo Alvarez is facing is the Danny Jacobs fight. Now, that's going to be a very interesting fight since both guys are elite-level boxers. Both guys are very strong punchers. Um, they're just elite-level, top-level fighters. So when you look at this fight and you kind of give it an initial breakdown, the first thing you notice about this fight is that Danny Jacobs has a size and reach advantage. So you would say that that would make this a very difficult fight. You'll say that Canelo Alvarez is a much better counter puncher than Danny Jacobs, and the the, I guess the game plan for Canelo against a Danny Jacobs is to get inside instead of fighting from the outside. If Canelo focused too much on fighting on the outside against a Danny Jacobs, that would make that fight extremely difficult for him and hard to win because Danny Jacobs will be able to pot shot and remove himself from being countered as much on the outside. This, this is a pretty much a game plan that Triple G wouldn't be able to have against a Canelo Alvarez being able to fight on the outside strategically and move around Canelo, pick off Canelo and his shot every single round. But Canelo Alvarez is an elite level boxer and shown that he can get under a guy's height and reach advantage, get on the inside work and even stop somebody with body shots. So Canelo Alvarez has already proven in that aspect. So I think that Danny Jacobs fight is a 50-50 fight and I think that's a very winnable fight for Canelo. Um, as of right now, it's to have a 50-50 even. I'm leaning towards Canelo, but by no means does that mean that Danny Jacobs is not a live dog in that fight and that Danny Jacobs can't win that fight. It's a very very, very close fight because of the physical attributes and the boxing skill and level that these guys are fighting at. Now, the next opponent, Saul Canelo Alvarez, could end up facing should he be successful against a Danny Jacobs. The next fight that seems very likely is the winner of the Demetrius Andre versus Billy Joe Saunders fight. And the, no matter who wins that fight, you have to give Canelo Alvarez, you know, the hands-on favorite in that fight for the simple reason that against both guys, neither one of those guys have faced the level of competition that Canelo Alvarez has. And yes, these guys may have certain physical advantages, maybe height, maybe reach. But do these guys have better boxing ability? Are they proven? Are their chins proven? And they're not. Their power and their chin isn't proven. They, they're both very good boxers. That is one thing that we know. But we've never seen them box another elite level fighter. You know, Billy Joe Saunders boxed David Lemieux's face off. But he's never fought another top level boxer like himself. So we don't know how he would do against a guy like Canelo. And we have to give Canelo the benefit of the doubt. Because he's been in there with the best fighters. And he's been in there with Floyd Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, it is Lanny Lada, even Austin Trout when Austin Trout was respectable. So you have to understand that Canelo Alvarez has seen very varying styles from top level boxers. He's even been in with the Triple G. He's been in with so many different styles and guys taking shots, never been stopped. So Canelo Alvarez has shown so much over his career that I, I don't feel like Demetrius Andre or Billy Joe Saunders would be a match for him. I would have to give Canelo Alvarez, you know, a, make him a heavy favorite in either one of those fights should he win. Um, and I think that this is a very likelihood of Canelo Alvarez going on to be undisputed at 160 pounds in 2019 i think that's a very real possibility please leave your comments and, and answer this one simple question can canelo alvarez become undisputed this year and what is his chances i think he has at least a 60 percent chance of becoming undisputed this year uh, once again it's the ibfp unbiased as always please share like and you must absolutely subscribe